with the server rollback creating an atmosphere that everything we do might be lost i think it is very important for me to show you what steps you can do to minimize as much loss as possible if you look at the people that were the prime winners of the rollback all of them were ones that sold gems through a VIP shop. This means that they buy gems, obviously, through CGM, Mole, all that good stuff. And then they would top up so they could sell more gems. Because they topped up so much, they amassed hundreds, hundreds of thousands, oh no, hundreds of thousands of gems and it did not change their bottom line whatsoever sure they lost some modicum of progress but when you have gems in the 100,000 range you quickly you know wipe your tears with all the money that you make and this video isn't going to be teaching you how to do that it's going to be Telling you the steps that you should be doing in order to not lose everything again. I lost, I want to say around 2 billion, something around that time. And I was buying gold instead of selling gems. There is a difference. So with selling gems... You create the market that you want to sell into. So if I want to sell 1,000 gems for, let's say, 300 million, that's the going rate currently. Then the gems that I have are pretty much absolute. Absolute meaning if there is a server rollback, I know that the gems that I top up on are always going to be pers persistent because there are logs that I topped up on. Whereas if I'm spending, let's say, $5 for, let's say, a billion gold, I, 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 I spend $10 for a billion gold. Since TMOBI doesn't have that transaction logged in their database, apparently, then I might lose all of that gold that I bought since I bought it outside of TMOBI. This is why the real breadwinners were the people that sold gems because they got gold from selling their gems. And then when the server rollback happened, they got even more gems to sell. And that is the most insane part. So they're able to sell way more through VIP now. Let's see. So they can sell what? 200 they can sell they can sell at whatever rate they choose to before or during the server rollback period the price of gems was insane it was almost 1 million to 1 gem meaning that if i sold 200 gems the common price would be around the 200 million range and that was even for rubies that 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 to me was one of the most insane things and now because so many gem sellers, so many ruby sellers are on the market, the price has dropped significantly. But that doesn't mean that everything is still protected. If you're still buying gold, you're just as left out in the woods as you were before. Because we still haven't had any word on, you know, is my data safe or not? Hopefully this is starting to make sense. What I'm trying to get you to do is instead of buying, 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 you're selling, selling, selling. If you buy gold, then there is no transaction recorded. Mm, hold on, let me process my thoughts. So if you're buying gold from other players, this is all outside of the game. So TMO Mobile doesn't know anything that you're doing 
And when you say, hey, I had so much gold, where did it all go? They're like, I don't know. You tell me. But when you're buying gems and selling that gems, you get the same amount of gold for the same, I'd say roughly the same price, if not more, because you're building a repertoire. You're building a reputation when you're selling gems. And I think that is more valuable, honestly. By doing so, you create a transaction. So you can you can be like, oh, I topped up so many times here. Where are these gems? And then T-Mobile said, yeah, yeah, you topped up here. You know, here are your gems back. You have more control. You have more power if you sell your gems and get gold rather than buying gold that way. Hopefully that made sense. If not, uh, hopefully it just doesn't sound like I'm spewing random garbage. Hopefully this puts it into perspective. I think it is very important to not be buying as much and to be selling more so. Because one of the things that... The, the reason why I haven't upgraded my attack at all, my attack is the exact same as when the first rollback happened. I am still very worried that i will log out today and lose everything again which is why i'm focusing more on training because i know that given what we've just been through i know that we have compensation for that to to compensate for time and training loss but we since we haven't had any gold compensation i'm telling you the ways to get gold compensation on your own front and that is by selling gems through VIP shop. I think that is the best way. Oh, let's see. Selling gems through VIP shop or selling radars. Selling radar caps is one of the best ways also. I, I probably should remake that. You know, I'll remake this video next week. Now that I have a better... I mean, I'll, I'll just put it in my head, right? And then I'll just like create that, that essay in my head. And then talk about it. So I'll... I'll make a part two or like a re a rewrite, but I, I think, I think what I'm saying now is very pertinent. You shouldn't be buying so much as you should be selling because you get the same, you get the same amount. And I'll, to reiterate this, I think I'm saying this for the third time. If I'm buying gold at a level, this is outside of TMO buy. This means that T-Mobile has no control whatsoever if they lose your shit because they're going to be like, you uh, you know, it's not in our database. Our database got wiped. Nobody gives a fuck. But if you're selling gems, you can be like, I topped up here. Oh, here are your gems. And then you can go back to start selling. There is no loss of production in that sense. Or if there is a loss of production, you still have the materials that you started off with. Whereas if you're buying, you take all of the risk in that game. In this game. But yeah, that, that's what I wanted to say. Hopefully this changes your mindset a little bit. You know, the mindset to a grind set, baby. Uh, but yeah, see ya.